Welcome back to AP Statistics. Again, I am not affiliated with the College Board. I just teach at a high school where they call me Dr. Kling. And today's topic is the mean of a random variable. So first of all, what's a random variable? And a simple way to describe a random variable is it's, it's something you can bet on. So anything you can bet on, you know, in layman's terms, that's likely to be a random variable. So how many points, how many points, well, I can't write today, how many points the Redskins will score in their first regular season game? That would be a random variable. Um, the uh, the sum of two dice, if you roll two dice, that would be a random variable. Um, the inches of rainfall we'll get uh, in this area next year, that would be a random variable. And now suppose you were, <coughs> okay, let me, so that's something you could bet on. Uh, let me give another definition or another characteristic of a random variable. It has something called a probability probability distribution function. I don't really want to define that, but I'll just say that it's what you it's the information that you would like to have if you're going to make an intelligent bet. For example, suppose I offered you the following bet. I said, um, if the rainfall in the Washington, D.C. area is greater than 40, 40 inches in 2012, I'll give you $2.00. Otherwise, if it's less than or equal to 40 inches, you give me one dollar. Is that a good bet to make? Well, you, in order for you to know that, you would want to know something about the distribution of rainfall. So if I just told you that the average rainfall in DC per year is 36 inches, that would tell you something. That would tell you, well, it's uh, probably not a sure thing that you're going to win. On the other hand, I'm going to give you $2 if you win. You only give me $1 if you lose. So even if the average is 36 inches, you know, maybe it's a good bet. It kind of depends on the whole distribution, which we might sketch out. Uh, let's say, Let's say the typical year you get between... 35 and 37, so we'll call that 35, 37, and this is the percentage of years, percentage of years that you, within a range. So between 35 and 37 is, let's say, the most typical, let's say that's like uh, 20% at that level, so I'll we'll call that 20%, and then we get lower percentage between 37 and 39, about the same between 33 and 35, and then less between 31 and 33, and so on. So these might be, this might be 15 percent and 15, this might be 12 and 12, is that, am I over 100 yet? I hope not. No, okay. So, um, so once you had this entire distribution function, this entire picture of how rainfall looked, then you could make an intelligent decision about whether you want to bet with me about whether you can get, whether there will be 40, more than 40 inches of rain in 2012 or not. So again, a random variable, you can think of it as something that anything you could bet on, 
and the distribution function of the random variable helps let you know what would be an intelligent bet which versus what might be a stupid bet. So that's kind of a practical uh, look at a random variable. And now the mean of the random variable so a mean of a random variable is is what you expect on average. So we often use as a synonym for that average. Another thing, because we say we expect on average, is this is like what you know, what do we expect on average for rain next year in the DC area? We write this expected value of x, x being the random variable, like in, inches of rainfall, e is the expected, so we call that expected value. So that's another term. These are all just synonyms for the mean of a random variable. Another thing that you'll sometimes sometimes see is mu of x. Now this thing, I know my handwriting is awful, uh, so you might wonder what that is. That's it looks like a u. It's the Greek letter mu, which is I think based on the letter m, but it looks a lot like a u. And it's and then we put the subscript x to indicate that it's the random variable x. So. If x is inches of rainfall, mu of x is the mean number of the mean for the inches of rainfall. It's what we expect on average. So that's another synonym, mu of x. And then I'll throw in another one that you'll see at times, which is x bar. Um, that's the mean, but um, yeah, well, well, that that that's just that's another um, synonym for mean. So we can use mean, average, e of x. We can write out expected value. We can put mu of x. We can put x bar. Those are all attempts to capture the same thing. And so let's show then how we calculate the same thing when we think about it in terms of a random variable. So this, I'm going to use an example random variable, which is the following. It's, it's the bridge card point system, or point count system. Bridge point count. Don't worry, I'll explain it to you. You don't have to know anything about bridge. We say an ace is worth four points. A king is worth three. Queen, two, Jack, I hope you realize I'm talking about a deck of cards. Jack is one. And then all the cards, two through ten, are worth zero. Now, how many cards are these uh, in the two through ten? There are a total of nine cards in two through ten. So we're going to then, so if you pick a card and then count the number of points associated with that card, that is a random variable. So we'll let x be a random variable, be the points on a randomly chosen card from a typical 52 card deck. Okay, so the values of x, x can take on five possible values. It can take on, I'll put an underline here, we can take on four, get more chalkboard here, we can have four, three, two, one, or zero. And next to x, I'm going to put the probability of x. So we get four points for an ace. What's the probability of drawing an ace out of a deck of cards? It's four out of 52. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to write that as 1 out of 13. If we get 3 points for a king, chances of getting a king also is 1 out of 13. A queen, 1 out of 13. A jack, 1 out of 13. And then a, we get no points for a 2 through 10, and we said there were 9 of those cards uh, out of 13, so that's um, 9 out of 13. 
And the way we compute the average is we multiply by x times p of x, and then we add them up when we get to the bottom. So x times p of x will be 4 over 13. And for this one, we take that times this, and we get 3 over 13. Not too shockingly, here we'll get 2 over 13. We'll get 1 over 13, and what do we get here? We get 0 times 9 out of 13, so 0. And now to get the, a the average, we add all of these up, and that'll be our mu of x. So 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is equal 10 thirteenths is mu of x. So to get the average, you multiply by p of x, and then you take the sum. Oh, Arlo, no, not him again. Okay, so you, but you, that's what you do. You multiply the x times the probability that x occurs and add it all up, and that gives you your mean. And that's it for this time, and next time we'll talk about variance.